Hi guys, Machine Dana here. How are you doing? I hope you're doing really, really well. Uh, this is a YouTube tutorial video on how you can set up loyalty points within your Stream Labs stream. Um, I'll be showing within this video how you can customize your loyalty point system, including the name and how much and little people can earn when they're on your streams. I'll be showing you how you can set up uh, rewards that people can claim from that. I will show you how to do various other things, set up new modules where people are able to use the loyalty point system to interact with each other and interact with you as the streamer. And finally, I will show just show you a little bit of information about how you can make that a nice smooth experience for people via using the website uh, that you can get with Prime and also setting up the commands to help that uh, process along so that people are able to understand what commands they use, need to use to be able to use the loyalty point system. So yeah, all in all, this will be hopefully a really good starting point for you to be able to set up loyalty points on your Streamlabs stream. As always, if you enjoy this content, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. It does help other people to be able to see the video and I appreciate it a lot. And if you do want to see more streaming tips and hints and guidance videos and tutorial videos, click the little subscribe button below. Don't press the icon on screen just here. That, that won't help you. You've got to actually click the, the, the thing below. Uh, without further ado, we'll get into it. First thing you're going to need to do is to navigate to streamlabs.com and log in. Uh, if you've not already got an account, you'll need to create an account. Now, the Streamlabs online tools directly integrate into Twitch and or into your Streamlabs desktop-based software. So those three entities, Twitch or perhaps you're using YouTube or Facebook Gaming, uh, so your streaming platform, Streamlabs and the Streamlabs OBS software, they all work together in unison to create a good experience for the viewer and for you as the streamer. You can log in using your um, your account. I use Twitch, so twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana if you fancy a little follow. Uh, and on here, you can go on to various things. Now, to download the software, you click top left here on the download Streamlabs OBS. That gives you the software itself. I'm assuming by now most people watching this video have probably already streamed with Streamlabs OBS for a short period of time and obviously this video isn't particularly about um, the software itself per se. We want to be clicking on CloudBot. Uh, so once you've set up your account, uh, you can click on CloudBot. CloudBot is a free tool from Streamlabs. Um, so there are some upgrade stuff you can get uh, on the CloudBot, which, which is with Prime and I'll talk a little bit about Prime at a later stage. Um, on, on the CloudBot, this is what manages your automatic chats, your loyalty systems, and various other things like polls, betting, giveaways, and user management, and various other things like that. Commands is also a big one, and timers. For this video, I'm mainly concerned with loyalty and store, but I'll also talk a little bit how it integrates with some of the other things as well, for, for instance, the modules. So what you first want to do is make sure that CloudBot is enabled. This toggle here will enable CloudBot on your channel. That alone is not enough. You need to forward slash mod Streamlabs in your chat on your channel. To do that, you literally go onto your channel, type forward slash mod Streamlabs. You press enter on that, and that will make Streamlabs a mod on your channel, on your Twitch channel or YouTube or whatever. So once you've done that, um, your modded Streamlabs, you've got it CloudBot activated. All you really now need to do is to configure CloudBot to allow loyalty and the store for loyalty. And then we'll talk a little bit more about how the user actually interacts with that process. There are some other modules here that do use the loyalty points system, which I'll briefly touch on later. So first of all, on the loyalty tab here, this is where you're going to manage all of your loyalty system. You'll customize it here and you'll even manage some of your users here too. You might want to make tweaks here to how you use your loyalty system. You, there are only two tabs, so it's really straightforward. First, you've got the users tab and the settings tab. You can search for a specific user. You can reset the loyalty database if ever you need to do that. And you can add points to all viewers. You can sort by points by clicking on that. You can sort by hours by clicking on this. Note that someone who's watched your stream the most does let's say um, that's actually me, my bot, and a few other things. But let's say a user that's watched it for 70 hours isn't necessarily going to be the user with the most points because you get points for various different things, which I'll go into in a second. So you can add points to all users, but you can also go into a specific user and change their points balance or their time what time watched. There might be some instances where you may need to do that. Most of the rest of the things to do with your loyalty system itself are going to be used on this settings tab. You need to make sure that it's enabled 
and then you all so you disable it by using this button if you ever need to disable it you can name your loyalty point system otherwise i think it's got some other default name here uh, don't ask why mine's called girth clout it's just a funny thing that i've got on my channel that seems to work pretty well and i've got some like subscription emotes with girthing in it and stuff like that so don't, don't ask so now we go through some of the settings the settings are actually quite basic and straightforward so interval in minutes if you hover above this amount of time between each payout so we're saying every five minutes there will be a payout and the payouts will be one loyalty system point to all live users so people that are actually on the stream and payouts to active users. This is basically people that are actively talking in the chat. So I'm saying here that I'm going to reward the people that are chatting with two every five minutes and anyone that's just watching the stream with one every five minutes. We change the interval to every two minutes or every one minute, depending on how you want to configure your own loyalty system. Uh, it, there are also some other things. So if someone does follow, you can give them, reward them with a specific amount. You can, when they subscribe, award them with a particular amount and mention that as part of your subscription benefits. Uh, on hosting, if someone hosts you, you can get the uh, loyalty points from that. Again, you can customize all these. And also if someone raids you, just to encourage people to, to raid you. Uh, finally, if someone does donate, you can, uh, you can basically, if someone donates through these various things, Super Chat or through uh, the Streamlabs website, um, they can get some as well and this I think this is a price per one dollar or yeah euro or pound of donation You click save settings once you're happy with that that in itself will enable your users to then start to accumulate the points in line with the settings that you've Put on your channel and because you've activated it and modded streamlabs that should all work perfectly on your channel Now you have to bear in mind that it'll take time for people to start to accumulate those points There's also a number of other things you can do to enhance the experience for your user I mean one of those things in itself is to create a fun name for it and actually talk to people about exactly how they earn the points So how do you do that? Let's go into commands First of all if I type uh, I think it's GK for girth clout I've got a number of different commands that talks about how to earn girth clout uh, how they can gamble girth clout uh, how to access the girth clout store which is my loyalty system girth clout and also the commands that are applicable to my loyalty system as well so it just means that people are able to access information with basic commands in the chat so for example if i edit this one here you can see as of the first of the seventh uh first of july uh, 2020 my loyalty system is rewarding at two per five minutes if active in chat one per five minutes if watching so this just gives people a little bit of an idea um, and someone can just type earn GK and here actually I've given it some aliases earn GK earning girth clout in case someone gets the command a little bit incorrect So that just gives you a bit of an idea of some of the commands that you can do that, that allow people to actually know about your Loyalty system and also timers. I've got a let me see here. I think it's GK if I do a search So I'm doing a search for a timer called GK. I've got a girth clout reminder timer um, okay, every time I say it, I laugh like a girth clout. Um, so yeah, you probably don't know this, but being here, you're, you're earning girth clout. Machine has a very sophisticated, super serious loyalty system. Uh, check out the balance by using that command. Also, try using these other commands as well. This is actually a timer that will just, every 36 minutes, and when there's been at least 30 lines in chat, it will repeat so that people are reminded that the points uh, do exist. So that enhances the experience a little bit for the users and gives them some information too. Uh, now we're going to talk a little bit about the actual store itself. So your loyalty store here is you get you get these three tabs on the this this main tab here store. So the loyalty store allows you to create things that people can redeem with their with loyalty points. And you set the customization, the pictures, you set what the sound effects and all kinds of things are for that. You literally define all of it. It's really really good. It's really flexible. When you click create new, so I've created a number of things here. These actually mainly are um, so, so things like Napoleon Dynamite sound effects and, and Borat sound effects and things like that. Just cool interactions that people can have on your channel with their loyalty points. So here we get to the point where you're able to create new items in the loyalty store. All you simply do here is click create new item. Uh, you can choose whether this is a stream perk, a sound effect or an access code. You basically give the item a name and a description. I'm just going to walk through briefly a sound effect setting up just so that you can get a feel for what this is. You give the item a name, for instance, a, I don't know, a shout out on stream. Maybe spaces, maybe put some spaces in between that. 
uh, I will give you a shout out on stream with our custom sound effect okay uh, and then what you want to do here is give someone in the description and a way that they can redeem it in chat because they can visit the store and I'll talk to you about that in a second but for now you also want to give them a way of quickly redeeming it in chat assuming they may have already browsed the store so they can redeem it with the exclamation mark redeem that's the global standard command that someone will use and then the keyword that you want to give it so and the, bear in mind this is just a description here right i'm not this this is just a description to help out the user understand what they've got to do to redeem this particular sound effect and the shout out you can set a cost for instance one two three you can set a quantity minus one for unlimited quantity but you may want to restrict the quantity of these that people can actually redeem a global cooldown and a user cooldown i think that's in seconds so we're saying we've got a user cooldown every 60 seconds if it's something that's a really difficult or impeding um perhaps a stream perk that you do on stream that you might only want to be redeemed once per stream you could put a global uh, cooldown that's really really high you then pick a thumbnail image i've already got a number of different ones we'll just pick let's say pepe here uh, and then you can pick a sound effect. There are existing sound effects that you can have, but also you can upload new MP3s to have custom sound effects, memes and things like that. So I've got some funny ones. Let's say a Pokemon here, Pe Pokemon one. Pikachu. Pikachu. So I'm going to pick that, select it. Uh, so as part of that shout out, they get the sound effect Pikachu. And I then know as the streamer, when I hear that sound, someone's requested a shout out. We can say here, look, we're going to allow it to be redeemed via chat using the command earlier. And here's where we actually define what that command is. So although we've already put it in the description to tell people what it is in description, we actually need to now define what that redemption code for this actual audio product is within your loyalty store. So when someone types, it just reminds you here, when someone types uh, exclamation mark redeem and then this command here, it will redeem this particular image and also this sound file it'll play as a sound file on the stream and then you then get the choice to do a shout out on stream if that's what you're offering you can add some additional requirements here which is custom text field which allows you if you're just perhaps giving a, a giveaway a physical item you might want to request their address or a telephone number or something like that um, you can use this in a number of creative ways once i save that that then becomes a product so i now have a shout out on stream product that costs 123 points uh, I will give you a shout out on stream with a custom sound effect. The custom sound effect is uh, the Pikachu sound effect. I've also told the user they can redeem this in chat using shout out on stream. Okay. And there's infinite rename it re remaining. So this actually tells you what your stock of the product is. Now you can hide products easily here and you can edit them or you can throw them in the bin. Right. There's a number of things you can do. What I'm just going to do just to illustrate that you can redeem these in chat. You just exclamation mark redeem users will literally just type redeem and the keyword press enter and then that will redeem it in chat i don't know why that took like 10 20 seconds i was thinking why is that not working there but i gave it a bit of time and it worked <laughs> maybe it was just being um yeah being just kind of propagated on the website there uh, so yeah, I've successfully redeemed the shout out for that and if I as the streamer wanted to also give a shout out for that then it then it would be fine It will now deduct 123 of my loyalty points girth clout from my loyalty balance I can check my loyalty balance with Exclamation mark GK and I'll show you how you can customize these default settings. I've I've set my balance to be um, Exclamation mark GK for girth clout, but you can set yours to be whatever you want so mine says I've now got 796 left. I can obviously add more to my own account if I want to um, because I'm the streamer. So so that's now, I'm confident that that's now working as a sound effect. Bear in mind, you can add uh, other things on here. Again, you can add access codes like, uh, for instance, Steam codes or Epic Games codes uh, or, or various stream perks. You want to po populate your store with a number of different items. You don't want to just have one or two things in there because your store is going to be pretty boring. Equally, if you've got like 500 items, that that's probably quite a lot of things as well. I think the sweet spot's probably going to be somewhere between 20 and 100 items that people can redeem. 
and they could be a combination of voice commands um you know physical items perhaps uh stream perks that they can get and potentially some stream codes as well or steam codes and that kind so that gives you a bit of a feel you can look at the history now this just gives you an idea of um what kind of history so you can keep an eye on what loyalty store redemptions have actually taken place i can click on unfulfilled so if there's any that have not been fulfilled yet you can put on the fulfilled and then you can just have a look at all but this is stream perks i don't actually have any stream perks on mine set up yet i've only got sound effects but i can look at the unfulfilled ones the sound effects obviously fulfill themselves once they play so all of my sound effects are fulfilled so they'll be in the fulfilled tab and I've got some funny ones like Roblox deaths and various other things. Some of my other users do uh, do the different sound effects uh, at different points in time as the loyalty system has been getting to get more and more traction on the stream. So this is where you can manage that. And you can also look at my redemptions as well. Things that I've particularly redeemed and access codes and things like that. So this just gives you an idea of how you can manage them as the streamer and look at the history of what's being used, what's popular and what's not and so on. So you've set up your loyalty store, you've now added items to that loyalty store, you've added the loyalty system and you've added the mechanism to give people those loyalty points. We've also talked about how the user within chat can redeem the items themselves. There's still some other things uh, that we, we probably should go through. So first of all, I, I've actually put a loyalty store widget within my uh, Streamlabs website. Now with Streamlabs Prime, it's a Prime uh, upgrade that you can get. You can get a website update to your to your stream. And what this is, is you can literally design a website based around the theme that you have on your stream and people can donate. They can get information about you, your social channels and loads of other stuff. This is mine here that I have and I have a tab called Girth Clout, which talks more about the actual loyalty system. OK, so the loyalty system here lists all the store stuff and the cloudbot loyalty leaderboard currently and what we do here uh, the way that you edit this is you go into uh, website on prime and here's where you do all the configuration for this now i won't tell you how to configure a full website because i'll save that for another tutorial but you can go on to content and you can manage my site pages and add a page adding the extra page will allow you to add new elements and adding those elements can include so it takes a little time you can name it so you could name it your loyalty system whatever you've called it that will now add a blank page within the existing website i now x off that and within the blank page you're then able to so i'm now able to manage that page or various other pages if you drag in cloudbot loyalty as an element Actually, first of all, you need to actually add a section. So we'll add a section like, let's say this here. You, you literally just drag in the loyalty. I'm going to put the loyalty there, which puts the leaderboard there. And then the loyalty store element, which puts the leader, uh, the, the loyalty store in that element. If I now save and publish, this will, this will enable this page to be accessible on my website. I don't actually want that to be updated though, so I'm going to remove it. <laughs> Essentially, you'll then be left with the store page here and the loyalty, but you can add a load of other elements like text elements and things like that. So what you can then do is copy this URL within the Cloudbot section and on your commands, you can add that URL as a command, as I have done. So if I go GK again, I think it's GK store. If I edit this command, people type GK store, they get the URL. I've pasted the URL. So then people can literally browse that store and see the items that they want to purchase. And how does this look? So for the user, this looks like, so this is a Rick and Morty, man, man. It costs them 50 points. Uh, it's an audio quote that allows people to redeem in chat with exclamation mark, redeem my man. They can just log in and redeem this by clicking through on the website. That will allow them to do that and it will then work. But most people are probably just going to read the text and say, okay, I just need to type that command in the chat so let's try that again redeem i'm actually hosting another uh hosting another streamer here redeem my man and that'll hopefully there you go it redeemed an item from the store and it'll hopefully have uh reduced my gk balance from 96 to 746 so it's reduced the balance by 50 
So they're just some ways that you can add commands and interact with the users. Final thing I'm just going to very briefly touch on is modules. Um, the, the, the loyalty system that you put in place can then be used for gambling mini games, heist mini games, dual mini games, slots mini games, loads of different mini games that you enable with preferences and with the toggles here. It does use the loyalty points system. So th those funds that you allow people to accumulate can then be used on these little widgets once you've enabled them. I won't go into the detail on any of them, but you can then use it once you've set it up. It's a really, really nice tool, really flexible. I'm very keen to see how you as the user are using these. Now, the final thing I just want to probably say here is to go into the affiliate links. So if you do upgrade to Prime to get the website, um, it's obviously it's a great experience for the user to be able to browse things on a store like this. That's a wonderful experience for the user and to see their balance. And it's just another way that they can interact with you. And also, of course, even do some donations and things like that. There are loads of things that you can get with Prime. So at this point, basically, this turns into an advert. But what I will say is if you use my affiliate code for Streamlabs uh, Prime, you will get money off. Uh, the, the Streamlabs Prime. I think you get something like $10 or $20 off the cost of an annual membership. So uh, please check the description for my affiliate code. And I really appreciate if you do use it, if you do get Prime. But remember, you don't have to get Prime here. You can do it as it's in its own right. You can use the loyalty and the store and host the information about the store or this information. You can host it somewhere else or manage it in another way. Um, but it just is a nicer experience for the user if you use the, uh, the Prime website. Hopefully you guys have found this video really useful. Um, I'm keen to know if you've got any questions whatsoever. I'm more than happy to try and answer any. Uh, if you're having troubles, I can jump in on Discord and help you with those as well. Any problems, uh, please remember to use twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana to give me a follow on Twitch. And of course, if you found this useful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care.